Natalie, you said earlier that James Dean was not exactly a rebel. Now, why do people respond to him today? What does he mean today? Well, of course, it's hard to say, but maybe it means that the young people want that connection again. I mean, maybe the dropping out, you know, mm. dissociating is not working. Maybe he is personifying again, you know, uh, a return to that uh, connecting to one person. I mean, Jimmy was very romantic, really. I mean, he, he loved one person. He wanted to love one girl. It was the kind of a forever kind of love that he was searching for. Welcome to Fairmount, Indiana. Who made Fairmount, Indiana famous? Why don't I just show you? You've read the title. You know. I know you know. But still, visual cues are always, always helpful. <clears throat> Aren't they? James Dean. Grew up in a little town called Marion, was born there, but he grew up here at Fairmount. This guy. I'm gonna show you a bunch of sites to do with James Dean. Are you ready? First, we're gonna go inside the museum. I'm gonna take a look there. But then, some really cool stuff. Right, James? He said right. He's quiet. He's emoting. He's a method actor. I can't believe I bumped into the sculpture there of James Dean. I thought it was solid. It's not. Can you imagine if I knocked it over and broke it? We run out of town. James Dean is Fairmount. There's a big industry built up around him here. Rightfully so. Put it on the map. People come here from, from all over the world. All over the world. Because of James Dean. His legend lives on. Look at this house. All right, let's go inside the James Dean Gallery. stuff in here. Some great pictures of them there. The room is dedicated to one of his teachers who was the first to recognize his immense acting talent. Thank you. 
James Dean painted that. Right. There he is there. Notebook. This is his last visit home right here. And there's that picture. Hmm. I like that picture. And we got a little gift shop in here too. A lot of books, movies. Very cool. Anything you want to do with James Dean is in here. Ooh, vintage music magazines. That's my thing. I can go back and read vintage music magazines years and years and years ago. Look at all these Rolling Stones. Wow. Some old Mojos. Spin. Vox. That's amazing. There you go. There to be no errors on my tables. This you have to have a firm understanding about before one dinner is served. Guest, you'll be transferred from my tables immediately. Huh? <laughs> Wrong! So here's. Where to, oh, thanks to Christopher, who works here at Family Dollar for that shot of me coming around the corner. Wasn't that nice? This is that famous picture. Look, there's a picture of him right up there on the wall. James Dean, right here. Stood right there. What? Come on. So there's the bank there. And look right across the street, well, down the street. James Dean, Natalie Wood, right in the windows. All right. Where am I going now? I'm gonna show you something. Pretty cool. When James Dean passed away in California, he was brought back here to Fairmount. Check it out behind me. That's where James Dean bought his first motorcycle. What? Yeah, right there. That's where he bought his first motorcycle. Here in Fairmount, Indian motorcycle. Carter's Motors, Carter's Motors, not Carter Motors, Carter's Motors. Carter's Motors, Fairmount, 1894. This building was built in, I guess. Awesome, look at that. This is the farm where James Dean grew up. What? That's right. Look at that farmhouse. This is where he grew up. On this farm. Right where I am. Check out this old barn. Modified. Modernized. This is awesome. Just on the property. Chilling out. I know I don't think I'm cool because I'm wearing sunglasses and leather jacket. I just thought I would do well. Sunglasses always because my eyes always bother me, and the leather jacket because it's James Dean. Sue me. No, don't sue me. I don't make enough money from YouTube for that. This is one of the most beautiful farms I've ever been on. Absolutely gorgeous. James Dean played here, lived here, 
grew up here. And down the street is where he's buried. So we're gonna go there now. James Dean came home after 24 years. He's laid to rest just down the street. Jimmy, we probably have a great many young people watching our show tonight, and for their benefit, I'd like your opinion about fast driving on the highway. Do you think it's a good idea? A good point. I, uh, I used to fly around quite a bit, you know. I took a lot of unnecessary chances on the highways. And I started racing, and, uh, now I drive on the highways, I'm, uh, extra cautious. Because no one knows what they're doing half the time. You don't know what this guy's going to do with that one. On a track, there are a lot of men who spend a lot of time developing rules and uh, ways of safety. And uh, I find myself being very cautious on the highway. I don't have the urge to, to speed on the highway. People say racing is dangerous, but I'll take my chances on the track any day than on a highway. Do you have any special advice for the young people who drive? Take it easy driving. The life you might say it might be mine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Finally. After years of wanting to be here, or come here, I've made it. This is Park Cemetery, just outside of Fairmont, Indiana. This is where James Dean is buried. Huh. It's exactly not what I pictured. Well, I mean, it's big. It's really big. I mean, it's not the biggest cemetery. It's a small town cemetery. But it's, it's a fair size. My GPS took me to a really small cemetery down the road. And I got out, and I just instantly knew it couldn't be it. The graves were a lot older, and it was tiny. So I knew I wasn't in the right one. So I re coordinated everything and found where I'm supposed to be. Now I gotta find the grave. That might be a little difficult. There's flowers and markers on so many of them, like flower and people bring stuff out. Uh, balloons all on that one, that grave there. Rest in peace, the person who was recently buried. But yeah, I'm gonna have to find Mr. Dean's grave. I will. This is the one I spotted first. Here's a rock that people have written all over.
some cigarette butts. James Dean was a smoker. People come out here and have a cigarette and sit and talk to Jimmy Dean, I guess. Dream as if you live forever, live as if you'll die today. Nineteen thirty one to nineteen fifty five. Twenty four years old. Definitely, as you can see, cornfields right across the street. Some other sort of field right over there, field over there, field over there. It's just a small, smallish cemetery, but big for this area, I'd imagine. Right in the middle of Indiana. They brought him home. And they've got lights beside the grave, as you see. The solar lights, so I guess at night, people come out here, it's easy to find. I bet there's been a few parties by this grave site. I can just imagine. It'd be a popular place to come and hang out. You know what? I don't think James Dean would have minded that. That being said, there are a lot of graves around. So family members of the deceased that are buried here may not like that. So maybe just come in the day and hang out and just chill by the grave for a bit like I'm doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Fairmount, Indiana. And finally here at the grave site of James Dean. James Dean, rest in peace. And to all you, I say peace. I love you all. Peace. Out. See you soon.